Hi everyone. We're going to do two problems for uh, how to begin solving rational equations. Uh, the steps are here and take a moment to read these. We're going to clear the fractions. We're going to um, get x by itself, figure out what it can be, and then check our solutions. Uh, basically what we want to do first is to see what makes the denominator equal to zero because we can't have those for solutions. And I guess the first step you could really say here is to factor um, the denominator as well. So basically I'm going to take this equation and factor the denominator. And usually, if you can't factor very well, usually it's probably going to include the piece that's also within the um, equation. So it's probably going to be x minus 5, and so this would leave x minus 2 here. And that works, and then you have plus 2 equals x minus 4 over x minus 5. Now what makes the denominator 0? Well, if we have x equals 5, then this is going to be, uh, the denominator is going to be 3 over 0 times 3, which leaves 0. And you know you can't divide by 0, so x cannot be 5. Similarly, uh, x cannot be 2. So if we get one of those two solutions, this is actually uh, part of your domain. If it, it can't be that. So now we're going to start with the steps and uh, do it in uh, factored form. So I'm going to write it out here. I have uh, 3 over x minus 2 times x minus 5 plus 2. I'm going to go ahead and put it in fraction form. Equals x minus 4 over x minus 5. Okay, you should already studied how to get your LCD. Your LCD is just going to be um, x minus 2 times x minus 5. It has to be both of these. All right, so we're going to multiply both sides of the equation, or this whole thing, by x minus 2 times x minus 5. Now, when we distribute here, uh, what's going to happen is the denominator cancels here with this. So we're just going to get 3 plus 1 goes into this uh, just this time. So it's going to be 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 5 equals, that was that piece, and then we're going to do this piece. 5 goes into that. So we're left with x minus 2. So we have x minus 4 times x minus 2. All right. Now what I'm going to do is to clean all this up. So I have 3 plus 2 times, we already know what this is, x squared minus 7x uh, plus 10 equals x squared minus 6x plus uh, 8. I'm just, uh, this middle term, I'm just combining those two. All right, then I'm going to do this one last step and do 2x squared minus 14x plus 20 equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. Now, I'm going to uh, move everything over to the left. So basically, and I'm going to combine these as well. So 3 plus 20 is 23. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this off and change this to 23 and move everything over. So you're subtracting, uh, let me do this in yellow, uh, you're subtracting x squared, you're adding 6x, and you're subtracting 8. So this is going to leave 0 on this side. So we're subtracting x squared, adding 6x, and subtracting 8. And we're going to get x squared. Uh, uh, minus 8x plus 15 equals 0. Now I'm going to factor this again, x minus 3 times x minus 5 equals 0. So you would know that here, 
then we're going to get x equals 5 and x equals 3. However, when we plug this back into the original equation, we already know that x cannot be what? 5. So x equals 5 and is the extraneous root. So we only have one solution, which is x equals 3. All right? And we're going to do one more. We have, uh, we're going to solve x over x plus y equals 2x over 4y. So the first thing I want to do is check for uh, my restrictions. So I know here that x plus y cannot be 0. And for here, this denominator, y cannot be 0, because that would make my denominator 0. So that's what I'm going to be looking at when I get my final answer. So um, in this case, you can multiply through. This is the LCD method. What I could do, and what I'm going to do here, is just cross multiply, because we have one term on each side. So I'm just going to cross multiply, and I get 4xy equals 2x times x plus y. I'm going to clean this up. All right, and when I actually subtract, I'm going to get 0 equals 2x squared minus 2xy. I'm going to do the greatest common factor and factor out of 2x, and I get x minus y. So I, I'm going to take both pieces. We have 2x equals 0, and we have x minus y equals 0. So um, in this case, this is just x equals 0, and in this case, we have x equals y. Since both of these um, aren't involved with our restrictions on the domain, that means these are our answers. Okay, this is a little different. The next video I'm going to make are just uh, lots of problems with solving uh, rational equations with different formats and such. Okay, thank you and have a nice day.